Hey guys, it's Chris. How you doing? This video is going to be called Seek the Kingdom of God and Righteousness First and all other things will be added on to you. I want to do this video because there's a lot of people who are coming to God that have needs that are not being met right now and they're being frustrated and they don't know how to deal with it. They they feel the freedom of God. They believed that when God freed them that everything would just be easy and life would just go along the way you know they've always imagined it would. And that does not happen guys. Many times when God looses you and you get that peace the world turns against you. In fact it is common and almost to be expected. It is to be expected. When you come to God every demon, every demonized person, every everything on this earth that's controlled by Lucifer, which is almost everything, comes against you. Okay? He's the God of this world. He controls you. They, his demons, if you're not fully rooted in the Word, his demons could mess your TV up, your computer, your car, cause people to curse at you, cause people to turn against you, evict you, destroy you. Now, people will then start to focus on their needs and this is a big mistake you see when you first come to God you need to let the world cave in around you stop trying to salvage your old life you can't be born again if the old you didn't die yet let your old life let God allow Satan to chew up your old life okay see the key isn't that Satan chews up your whole life because he's going to and God's gonna let him happily but the key is how do you handle this? How do you handle this situation when your old life is caving in? Are you going to cling on to it? Are you going to cry like a little girl? Or are you just going to say, may God's will be done. I'm going to be righteous. I'm going to help people. I'm going to do His will. And I'm going to have faith that if I seek His kingdom first and righteousness, He will add on to me all the things I need a new washing machine, rent money, a good job, a way to take care of my kids and earn money at the same time, a spouse, a boyfriend, whatever you're looking for. All right? There's people I talk to that'll tell me, basically what they'll say is, I thought God wanted me to never be married. I, ne I, I thought God never wanted me to be in a relationship. Now, the Bible says, if you seek unto Him, he, he knows your heart. He, he knows you have need of all these things. That's what Jesus said. Jesus said to all His followers, you should know that your Father is well aware that you have needs of all these things. And He knows, and He will give them to you if you're His children. He will give them you your bare needs to, to serve Him. He's not looking to spoil you and ruin you like the tempter. So, People, you need to realize if you're not in a relationship, and that's not God if that's your heart. If your heart's telling you you want to be with somebody, God will not force you not, not to be with somebody. There's nothing in the Bible that says that He seeks to make a man celibate or single. Now, the Bible does say that some make themselves eunuchs for the kingdom of God. It doesn't say God makes them eunuchs. By their own free will, they make themselves eunuchs. And then, of course, it says some are born that way. Now, that line, what that line means is some are born eunuchs and some make themselves eunuchs for the kingdom of God. What that line means is the ones that are born eunuchs were born with the birth defect that they can't reproduce. The ones that make themselves eunuchs don't chop their penises off. They just willfully say, I'm going to be single for the rest of my life to serve God. Now, if you want a good significant other, if you're looking for one, the only way you're ever going to get one is if you seek the kingdom of God first and righteousness. You will not get one if you seek the girlfriend or the boyfriend first. Because there's a reason that that verse says, seek first. It doesn't say seek the kingdom of God and righteousness and all things will be added unto you. Jesus made sure, he said, seek first 
Meaning, he knew that people would seek these worldly ways. He knew. And he wanted to put that word in there, and you always know that to, to take note when they put an extra word in, that it's to be noted as a specific situation. He put the word first in because he wants to let you know that if you focus on the Father's will first, he knows all things in your heart and in your mind that you desire. He created you, and they will be added on to you. Okay? He's so high in creation, guys, it's beyond your comp comprehension and mine, okay? So if you're looking for a partner, stop. Stop looking for a partner. Start looking to please God. Start turning from your sin, okay? And you will get one. Within a year or two, you will get one. He will send you one better than you could have found on your own. Trust me, all right? But um, aside from that, there's not really not much to talk about on it. Stop worrying about your situations, your car, your house, your money. Let the money go, all right? Let them evict you. Maybe where you get tossed, maybe where you land will be much better. Don't be afraid of the world. Don't be afraid of the devil, okay? Don't be afraid to get up and work and go earn yourself some money. Alright? Find a job where you can work with your hands. Find a job where you're not around a lot of people, worldly people, in an office setting. Like a job where you're building grills in, in, a, in a shed somewhere by yourself and you can listen to some music and, and praise God all day. Find a job where you could drive around as a driver in a FedEx van all day and listen to your Bible on headphones. Find jobs like that. Work in a toll booth where you you could put headphones in and just hand people money like a zombie. So you don't have to get into the ways of the world and the cutthroat business life. Okay? I used to be in such a cutthroat business world like in construction and in Manhattan and in New Jersey and everyone's, it's all politics, and everyone's suing each other, and everyone's sneaky, trying to get over on somebody else, trying to make a contract, twist a contract or something. Everyone's hiring lawyers. But if I got another job again, instead of going and getting another job like that, where you make 150 grand a year, or 120 grand a year, I would go seek a job where I made 50 grand a year, where I could sit there like a little zombie, praising God all day. And everyone I had to encounter, I didn't have to, you know, cut their throat and mess up their life to earn a dollar. Be simple. Be simple like Jesus. Jesus was a carpenter. He just put, put things together. He built things. He worked with his hands, okay? Be blessed in Jesus' name, and have a good night.